1963, the French colonization had to move out of North Africa. Ooh, surfing, playing music, cooking, raiding, lots of them, you know, in different orders. Skiers moment, uh, going into a, a, a room full of fiddle players. Oh no, excuse me, violin players. Going through a room full of violin and fiddle players. Georges Enescu. He must, I don't have a cell phone. I lost it, and I'm good without it. Music is one of them. Um, there is a lot of life in general, you know, the joy of life, the adventure, you know, of it, yeah. Um, nowadays, um, positiveness, I would say, you know. It used to be a lot of people, now I just uh, go on my own. Um, Rosin my bow. My, uh, superpower, the G-string. I would say like professional surfer if I if I was younger, you know. Depends. <laughs> There's a lot of things, uh, but pretty much if I'm traveling is whatever I have to play to do what I do now. I like the little champagne, you know, and a little like a you know, distilled 16 years of age, distilled twice. I can love the taste of that. I'm not really much of a drinker, but. That's what I would do. Oh my god. Uh, it's gonna be half empty, so I can pour a little more. Depends if I play the violin and bored, I watch a soccer game. So for a movie, slow motion. Oh, I can't go back in time, so I won't do anything differently. What I do. Sorry about that. Oh, I don't know if I succeeded or not. I because uh, I'm doing something that I, I. It's a long story. It's a very long story, but I I, I just I, I, I feel like I'm, I'm doing something that I, I took risk to do. It hasn't been easy. I took risk, and then uh, and now it's finally at 54 years old. It's paying off. I feel more relaxed with what I do. 54 years old. So, I still, yeah, hope for everyone, I guess, you know, because I was pretty uh, down. Yeah. I don't know, there is one. I don't know. I don't want to know about it. <laughs> A Beethoven violin concerto with uh, Yehudi Menuhin playing and Wil Wilhelm Furtwängler conducting. That's what I heard for the first time. Uh, I don't know because I'm trying to re redo them ten years after because I'm not happy with what I did. So I'm not really listening to myself much actually. Uh, the future is now, so uh, it's just always going to be it's always going to be alive. It depends on whatever the the artist is doing with it. I don't see that on a business kind of a side or anything like that. I think this is what you do right now and the way you're making music. If you do it for the heart, it's gonna stay forever.